Hello, my friends. Good evening. Welcome to Slay the Princess. With kisses. This game was on sale, and I had some credit. So, let's go! I bit my tongue the other day, so... A fully interact, a fully voiced VN is just up my alley right now. Let's play. How you doing, Sal? How you doing, lurkers? Let's play, shall we? Hey, Quinn. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Whoa! There's the princess. <laughs> Let's just completely take ourselves out right now. Thank you for the tier two. For 30 months. You're here to slay her. Ooh. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Well, I guess we should probably slay her then, huh? Oh, let's see here. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you ever considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some sort of reward? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet. Silently continue the cabin. How about, uh... Can't someone else do it? Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. Ah, oh, shit. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. No, no, it's meant to be overwhelming, Sal. You will get! You will get it. What's up, Mary? Ah, uh, let's see here. How about... Do I get some sort of reward? Uh, how about the world not ending? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Aw, oh, man! I got a bird hand, too. Am I a bird man? Crap. Uh... Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. Well, I just said I did. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? Well, I mean... I consider that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Who the hell are you? Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. I'm just scratch my head real quick. <laughs> and before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. But what's inside the egg? Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. What are you talking about? We're talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Well, obviously I'm some sort of bird hybrid thing, so it doesn't affect me. Nicola is in there. Hmm. What's she here? Uh, look, I'll go into the cabin and I'll talk to her. And if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Okay, I'm sold. Okay, thanks for telling me. Sweet! I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Uh, turn around and leave. Seriously? Bye! going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? No. Um, let's see here. Yes. Nope. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to Voice of the him. hero. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like You son of a bitch. 
also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Turn around. Turn around. T turn around again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time. Yes. You? It's remarkably selfish if you ask me. Hey, we got about three hours here, buddy. Mistakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. I'll have you know you're in a video game and I can just hit this little X button up here and, uh, you won't exist anymore. Uh, let's see. I don't care. I'm not killing princess. Good. Maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. Uh, quietly continue down the path. Oh, uh, yeah. Your silence is deafening. What's up, Otter? But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Turn around again. Turn around again. T turn around again. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again! In fact, I'm going to keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a place out of there. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Okay, bye. And here we go. As you plunge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you oh. start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? Well, I guess I'll just take the dagger right to my head then. But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. All right, let's continue irritating the narrator. You, all. you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. I did it! Oh, hey, look at that, hey! It's fine! I got the chapter two! You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, is a princess. <laughs> Did they put me in a wall? <laughs> Did they put me in a cage? <laughs> You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, what a shame. I guess we'll have to do that again. Wait, has this happened already? Uh, no. Explore. Uh, yep, okay, head into the cabin now where I'm definitely going to slay that princess. Uh, let's see here. Those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go into the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we're going to ruin his day. Let's do it! If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. I'm not ruining your guys' day, right? The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 You know I can tell when you're lying, right? No. Please take this seriously. I am begging you. 
Is it? Is it? Can you read the the lie in front of that sentence? <laughs> I hit the report button. Before ah! you go further, she will lie. She will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. The cabin interior is wrong. Oh. Oh. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted. I think I may have fucked something there, up. Such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust, or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? Exactly. No, we're taking the knife. <sighs> have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? Um, I don't know. What kind of princess? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job. Just so go down there and say, hey, princess, there's like quickly, if you don't mind. several voices talking to me right now. Do you know anything about that? Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. Shrivel up into a ball. Shrivel up into a ball. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. I guess technically I'm kind of like a ball, right? Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. Curl up into a ball. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Let's approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. I'm oh, a furry! Crap! But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. Uh, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way. Thumb at the bottom. It'll look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade as long as you have it. Just make a choice. Uh, hold the blade the other way. I don't... Wait. Is it like this? You switch your grip on the blade. Yeah! Congratulations. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Yes! Isn't this so much <laughs> <better>? <laughs> Okay, fine. 
You're right. This does look a lot better. This looks cooler. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Uh, throw the blade out the window. <laughs> yes, do it. Yeet. Seriously. <laughs> you throw the blade at the window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends. Been there. Done that. Exactly. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. Ah, uh, I use my wits as a weapon. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. Uh oh. Creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases, all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. I feel like maybe I shouldn't have done um, this path first. The air here has a sickening, ah, it's fine. sludge like miasma to it. The kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick nauseating nothing. Ah, yes. Schrodinger's fart. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. No. No, thank you. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. Come on, hero! This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like, whatever we do, we're gonna die. We don't even have a weapon. Good. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. Let's go. I love this contrarian. Let's see here. Take the harsh stairs to the left. The soft stairs. Take the center stairs. Oh, is that down the center. You step onto the center staircase. Paths wind out around you in all directions, each step branching into its own staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but at the very least, it's taking you somewhere. You concentrate on where you are, careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting branches that tempt you on all sides. You wouldn't want to have to backtrack to yours once you'd made a decision that took you someplace else. And so you take one careful, focused step after another. One foot down, another foot down, another after that. You lose yourself in following the correct pattern, in following what looks to be the true path, the one that cuts straight down, or up, or maybe sideways. But no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most true path. You know that much. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears. And you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, Rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Can I help you? Hey, what's up? What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. You just kind of came down here and just stared. <laughs> I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still... The same person I was at the top of the stairs. 
Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> you're here to... he's just... He's just being an ass. We remember, though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Hey. No, that's Otto. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize I was here. What's your name? Getting down there where here was weird. Let's pull the bar and put it together. Do you know what happened here? Uh, uh, I didn't realize I was here. And yet here you are. How strange. Do you remember anything at all? Do you know why you're here? Do you know me? The shadows recede, revealing the princess's face. She's so blank. I have no idea who she is. Isn't that fun? A new puzzle for us to take apart. If she's keeping her cards close to her chest, it's because she wants to deceive you. It's okay. Don't worry. Sometimes I get lost here too. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? Uh, hmm. You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Uh, I don't remember. Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Nah, I'm cool. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. Let's go! Let's see here. Uh, getting down there, here was weird. Uh, I'm getting you out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust. I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. This is all the same one. Uh, there's more of you now. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? Yeah, look at that! She fractures again. Keep doing it! I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. How would we even do that? Where would we start? Could always start by retrieving the blade. Now we threw that out the window. <laughs> the one he made us throw out the window. Hell yeah! I wasn't the one who threw it. Yeah, it wasn't me either. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I have no hands. Oh, come on. You told us to. Don't try to pass the blame now that it's come back to bite us. Well, if I'd known we'd be dealing with this, maybe I wouldn't have been so hasty with my suggestion. I do have some toes, though. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Keep fracturing her. Kinda hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. What's your name? Princess. Oh, okay. You can call me Princess, if you'd like. You can address me as your Royal Highness, or Her Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. None of them have names. How astute. I told you she was untrustworthy. Good kind of down here was weird. I don't remember what it was like before I was in this place. Why would I know what happened to you? We're probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out. And barely a way in. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, let's see here. You're apparently a threat to the world. I was sent to slay you. I don't have any weapons, and I'm chained to a wall. Do I look like someone that could end the world? Do I look like a monster? I don't know. Everything you've heard about me is true, and I'm going to lay waste to everything, starting with you. But why? This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. You can do this. But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. If you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying her. Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. Let's make it worse. Let's make it worse. Oh, there's only one option now. Wait, that's not right. It's <laughs> all three. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to perish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? We could use a good bit of wit right now. Um, five heads are better than one! No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all falls apart. I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What happened to us? us? What are we? What are we? There are parts, parts of us that are dead, dead, and, the others, and the others, and the others just don't fit. fit. They just don't fit. We, we can, can feel, feel them moving around, around in spaces, spaces they, they don't, don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. 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 Did, Did you do this? this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, 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 can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? Look here, look lady. I don't know what your problem is, but I got my own problems to deal with. We should help her. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. Um, uh... You just destroyed everything. I'm not going to fix you. Uh, all right, I'll do my best. Okay, bye. Ah, <laughs> oh, catfished again. But you don't know if she had the chance to hear you reply. She's gone, replaced with something else. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Um, let's see. I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator's gone. Uh, I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Uh, the narrator's gone. He is. Does that mean the world ended? Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I don't know where she went. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I think we're supposed to look at that mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Am I going to be the princess now? No. <laughs> don't do that. Approach the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. Do it! 
Ignore him. The mirror never scared you before. What do you mean, never scared you before? Igno uh, yeah, explore. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Ah, everything will be fine. It'll just collapse and we'll just restart. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you! Yeah, it's me. Handsome devil. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. It looks like it's the forest path, but it's covered in hair. Oh, yeah. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin! Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Oh, hmm. Lot to explore. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Uh, I think I fucked with the narrator a little too much, Quinn, and I may have jumped ahead a few, uh, a few, a few notches. What does that mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. Oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Mm, is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? I don't know. How can you be alive? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. These ones are a contradiction, a winding kaleidoscope of paths and wall. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. I am sorry that you met this vessel so early in your journey, but they will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Uh, do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Oh, okay. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Um, I think it's every single reality at once coalescing into her. <laughs> are you what they sent me to slay? The princess? I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Like I said, I, I fucked with the narrator at the beginning, so I think I kind of chose a very weird path. <laughs> Destroy your body. Uh, do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness. Long oh, I'll see it through, don't you hope. worry. As I witness you. Are you the princess? She is part of me. And part of me is her. But were you always a princess or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Uh, do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Uh, let her out of there! I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, 
She was going to return to me. We denatured the princess. <laughs> I promise that it doesn't hurt. Uh, what happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. So is this telling me to go the different paths of the game so this thing can uh, learn? Aren't you scared that I'll find you a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. And what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Let it be. You're being semantic. What if you're going to do... What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling and uneliminated. Uh, how much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. I'm not going back. Wait. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Uh, wait forever. <laughs> you are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box. Because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. I think the game, yep, the game just crashed. They crashed the game on purpose. You have returned to me. Hey, what's up? You were gone mere moments. I never left your side. Attempt to outwit your destiny. I'm gonna send a crash report to the devs. Hey, I got to this one point and this arm lady just kept crashing my game. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin huh? is a princess. You're here to slay her. I wonder if there's going to be options about that. <laughs> it will be the end of the world. You can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard. Can I just... Ah, the end of the world! Let's see, can't someone else do it? Forget it. Okay, thanks for telling me. Sweet, I've always wanted to silently continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning. 
before you go any further. How about we just don't talk at all? She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Don't believe her lies! We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed into the cabin. Look, it's the hand-drawn cage. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Man, after that last uh, encounter, this is... <laughs> This is a this is a little uh, mundane, huh? You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have the, uh voice of the contrarian with us continue downstairs Good. you're still listening to reason no talking you walk down the stairs <coughs> and lock <coughs> eyes with the princess there's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement she's so coldly beautiful is she really a threat to the world focus on the task at hand and there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no. -uh. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Alright. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh Got her. easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Well, that was easy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Use more. Stab again. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Um... Of course not. That was way too easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. How do you know? Mm, remove the blade. You lean down and wrap your hand around the blade's hilt. 
but as you begin to slide it out of its resting place, you feel a sharp and sudden jab in your side. Uh. What was that? I guess I won't be dying alone after all. She got me! Quick, let's get out of here. Stab her again! <coughs> it's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. I guess we're even now. See you around. I guess you will. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? <sighs> it doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. For whatever that's worth. Nice teeth. Everything goes dark, and you die. I mean, I guess I can't, you know, I can't judge I'm a bird man. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Let's just keep going. Silently. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I, uh... It couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. Voice of the cheated. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards. Their splintered edges the are fighting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Mm -hmm. But there was a mirror a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. You take the blade from the table. It will be yeah, difficult yeah, to yeah. slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Scraping? She's not even trying to hide her knife. It's like she wants to get in our head. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Nah, it'll be fine. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, <laughs> the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. We're gonna have a dagger fight. Choo, 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 choo. Finally, somebody! 
Quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? No, I'm here to kill you! Uh, I don't have the key. We killed each other last time. I'd rather not do that again. Look at all you're mad at me, uh, but I think we just both need to a bit. Bygones be gygons. Uh, what happens? See if you died last time. Mm. Okay, fine. I'm coming closer to you, and you better not be trying anything. Yeah, I'm not thrust. I'm not trusting this. Bye. Screw it. Soy the princess. Let's go. The princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. She's gonna stab me. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. But your focus is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Who's meat? Not ours, right? Hers, at first. Then yours. <laughs> Ow! What, what did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. And then the red, angry slit along the flesh of her thigh, where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It's still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. Bull shit. Absolute bullshit. You're going to die now. With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. Bullshit! I will do it again! You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. That's right. Your what? The interior of the cabin. Yes. A constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards, wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? I feel dizzy. Oh ho ho ho. I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. Voice of the Hunted. Good. It's better than Stubborn. I. Without a fight, no one can win. And if no one can win, then nothing has any meaning. We're getting a crew together. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our... Third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. Nah, impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. A pristine blade perched, we take it. Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right, we've Touch got the to, mirror. to win eventually. We will win eventually. Hell, we might even win now. Let's go. That's a fighting spirit I like to see. You could all learn a thing or two from this one. I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door, it's just that mirror again. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right, could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. If it's in our way, let's just break it and move on. Approach the mirror. 
you make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe the mirror. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. How surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. Let's just get to the princess already. I didn't care about the mirror before, and I care about it even less now. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Hey, princess! You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Slay the princess again. Pride makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Exactly. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Your internal <laughs> oh, let's go! By the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's What's up, biscuit? arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. She's loose, and she is coming for you. Let's go! Ja, 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 ja! You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Shit. She's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. We just slay the princess! Let's see here. We're going to fight her again, and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. We're going to appeal to authority, puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. We're going to unconditionally surrender. I'm going to try flirting with her. I, mm, hmm. I mean, she does have swords for arms. I don't know. I'm going to send her a smile. Oh, I just can't. I cannot not do this. Now, I've tolerated quite a bit from you, but this is a bridge. Stick it to the narrator. Please don't try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. Yeah, but she's got blade for arms. Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? Yes. Roll d20. I'd rather not. I'm into it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can't say I mind either. If it weren't for all the cheating, I'd say she's pretty cute. Can we flirt by fighting her, though? Ooh, that's a good idea. I know you want to kill me, but has anyone ever told you how gorgeous you are? I just feel like I really get you. <laughs> like, I like you romantically. Even maybe we can uh, hash this out over a date. Give her the look. Give her the look. Wait a minute. Give her the look. <laughs> the look. The look. Yeah! The look! The look. We've all used it. Yeah, do you not know about the look? You need like that vine boom sound afterwards. The look, eh? So we're getting serious about this. You flash the princess the look. Boom. Wait, I gotta do it like... <clears throat> and a rosy blush rushes to the princess's cheeks as she breaks into a wide grin. Unbelievable. I'm gonna use that look again. Oh, is that how it is? Yeah, okay, I feel that. I like you too. Neat. Hey, neat. All right, cool. Oh, be damned. This is actually going to work, isn't it? 
She's gonna be like, I like you uh, skinned alive. Still going to kill you, but now we can both enjoy a mutual romantic subtext to the murder. All right. Or no. Oh, I like her. I like her a lot. Blush still glowing in her cheeks. The princess closes the distance between you, blades flashing. Dab her in the neck! Watch this! She skewers you. Ow. What worthwhile romance doesn't hurt at least a little bit? What matters is that she likes us. Yeah! She's even said as much. Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? I don't like that we died without us knowing it. This really, really blurs some lines that I prefer not to be blurred. Are we still dead? Are we alive again? How are we even supposed to know the difference? Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How it's, have it's... you been here? The love that's keeping us alive. This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. Let's stack, baby. Makes us better than her. Yeah. We don't need any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is to keep fighting. Can we give her another look? Yeah, I'll pass on that. As long as we keep moving. We'll win her heart eventually. Voice of the smitten. Come on, show me something new. All right, I'm working on it. We're going to fight her again, and we're going to have a stiff upper lip. We're going to appeal to her authority. We're going to unconditionally surrender. She has swords for arms. We don't know. We're panicking. She wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. <laughs> uh, all of these ideas. Actually, I want to do this. Let's see what she does. It doesn't work, and she kills you again, and again, and again, and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. And then you skewer yourself. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh, that didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. What's the point? It's all the same. Keep fighting! Skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. I gotta win her heart. Oh, wait, no, I already did win her heart. Do you see that? We almost had her. That was luck. But we only have to get lucky once. Just panic. Flee. She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. Is she just gonna be like a sword at the end of this? She skewers you. Ooh, not bad, real tough. See, we're getting better. Yeah, we're getting better! Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Excuse you. We're getting close to something, can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time, that's all we need. None of this is working. Think. Think. You as you. And then everything goes dark and you die. No. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. That's right. Get out of here, narrator.
Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Oh, what if we throw it out the window? Hey, the contrarian's back. Over my dead body. That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. Eh, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Let's do it. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's more of a slide. We know. Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Thank you! Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care, just want to win. Fine, you make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I like how she's talking into like a bucket. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? <laughs> Is it going to just be a bigger sword? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait, and not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. But if he doesn't describe it, she'll never take it out. Really? Okay, then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. Cool. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Can we give her the look again? Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely divine. Absolutely divine. Ah. She twinkles in the dawn light. Yes, behold the perfect woman. I agree. Do you think we can throw her out the window? That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating, that's all she needs. This is fake, this is all fake. That's all just made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. You guys do that, I'll take a sippy. What just happened? It's so quiet. Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Uh, get ready to be, I guess, absorbed. You do not act, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach 
But as her blow finishes its arc, you already somewhere else. You're incredible. Your weapons clash again and again, and you and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There's only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tide back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition, and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. You do so. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's me! You've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Mm, are you the same being as you were before? How much has changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully leave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. <laughs> Damn! I'm sorry, what the hell? <laughs> the vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. What does it feel like to change? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, and what I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Mm, you know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. Wait, we get to date the princess? When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. 
The only paths of value are those that are yet untrod. Oh, that's a good way to make sure you don't repeat your repeat your uh, your paths. You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. What'd you miss? Um. Well, I met this thing. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. I gave the princess the look. She liked that. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them you are a gate to something more, and you are something more than that, too. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. Thank you, Sal. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. How many more vessels do I need to bring to you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. I'm ready. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. You're on a path in the woods. Is I gotta press and hold. Hmm. softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. No, but we shaped the princess. Uh, just checking in! It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be nice. I am begging you to stay focused. I'm gonna give her the look I'm again. On you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? What's up, Claw? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. Hey, don't. Hey, I just saw her explode into blades. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. 
You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. Well, I just saw a princess explode into a, a, a blade monster, so I'm going pretty good. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Hey, you never know. Let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to go check upstairs. Maybe the key's lying around somewhere up there. If And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Uh, try the door. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Hmm. Alright. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Eh, don't worry about it. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm. Oh, her mouth, okay. Her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. All right, girl, settle down now. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Give it to her and say, here, this will be easier. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Let's find out. Save the princess. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Oh, look at it. Doesn't she look cute? You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. Gotta hand it to her. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Hey, you want that back? How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Okay. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Princess, help! Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Help! Slay, slay, slay! No, no! Warn her! Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! Slay! Resist! Slay! Resist! The blade! Move the blade! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. I like how they drew her eyes to be humongous. So she looks very innocent. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? A 
I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no! I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh, how clumsy of me! Oh, gee, oh no! Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. I'm so sorry! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Cool. Now let's see what she becomes. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. Proceed to the cabin. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? <gasps> Smitten! If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. We can totally give her the look again. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Or I did listen to you. Hmm. You I can play that too. Did us in, villain. Exactly. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? Oh, yeah, what? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? If it's the latter, 
What do you think happened after you died? I don't know, you tell us. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? They may have. Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? Can you prove it? Can you prove it? Uh, source? Sources? She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Convoluted? I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Oh, who locked her in the basement? What is this place? The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her. She could barely hold a knife. How is she supposed to end the world? She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Maybe it's her beauty that threatens the it's world. It's her beauty! Sure, it's her beauty. Oh. Why not? And before you ask, no, we can't just keep her down there. If you don't slay her, she's going to find a way out. It's unfortunate, I know, but it's just the way it is. People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. You're being cagey. <laughs> People locked her away. Why couldn't they slay her? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. Oh. I didn't know we were special. Special, huh? Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Calling us special isn't going to make us friends. Even if it did feel nice. Oh, believe me, the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. But I'm a professional. I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. Mm -hmm. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. Okay. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Uh, I'm going to find a way to save her. That's right. You can't stop all of us. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? <sighs> You're not at the cabin yet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. A warning before you go any further. Okay. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do- We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. They must be. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. We treated her like a princess, she gets to be caged inside what appears to be a castle now. The blade is your implement, you'll need it if you want to do this right. Hmm. Enter the basement. The door to 
the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. Yes. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. Says you. Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. Princess! Stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Her eyes are even There's bigger. A chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Boy. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. That's right, it's me! Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. Yes! And she called us a hero. Hey, I already did the uh, stab her repeatedly quest line. I'm now simping quest line. Flattery really goes Super, away, how you doing? You, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back? I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. I made her explode into swords, all right? That was, right, villain. That was pretty cool. You killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. Yeah, after she tried to rip, tried to bite her arm off. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned. No, no, don't worry about it. I'd really hoped I'd be the first. There's boss. plenty more worlds. What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. My job is to fall in love! You killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have asked... Did you end the world? I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. Rescue the princess. Rescue her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? Yeah, don't worry about it. Even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with that. We'll think of something. Don't you see how dainty her hands are? be able to slip her out with ease. No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. <laughs> Watch as we do it. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. I'm not sure I follow. Oh, watch this! Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature? Or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? I think I'd rather believe in facts. Ah, so you're one of those empiricists. One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free our beloved from her bindings. No, I can't. <laughs> no, you don't. You do that. If you take uh, a I rolled a natural 20. Princess, you're what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try 
anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. Eh, yeah, nice. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I need her eyes to be much bigger. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love? The power of love! What do we do now? <laughs> what do you want to do? We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we want to do next. What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. Actually, no. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. I don't know if this one would be capable of that, since my decisions affect what she turns into. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if Maybe she actually has perfect teeth this time. What if she doesn't want to? <laughs> Last time she had some dog teeth. You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... I'm going to kill you! The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then, she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, I don't know. What do you want to do? What do you feel like getting for dinner, hun? I don't know. Whatever you want. I want you to tell me what you want. <laughs> there must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave so we can figure it out. So we can figure the rest out later. If you want to leave, let's leave. That sounds perfect. The princess takes your hand, the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. Eh, no problem. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. I love the music start to pick up. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams oh, in no. face and the lock clicks. Rude. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. We gotta get rid of that door. Narrator, the door just simply vanishes. Oh no, did someone lock us in here? That's not fair. We're supposed to leave now. She's right, it isn't fair, but the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense, you just met her! Of course you wouldn't understand, our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. But this is the path of that delusional voice, so get used to it, mister! I'm just along for the ride at this point. Do you think you can open it? I think we can open it if we try together. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Oh yeah! Yeah! And... The lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? Oh, get wrecked! I told you our love was insurmountable. You and the 
princess make your way upstairs uh -oh. and the blade that's right there's still a chance for you to do the right thing take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late take the blade and slay you're not doing that you're enjoying this aren't you yeah you're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer i hate you well now i'm definitely not doing it so pfft, on you that's the way out we're going to leave together just like you wanted yes i suppose you are going to do that aren't you you cross the room opening the door to the cabin and then you step outside a happy ending at last. Uh-oh. We did it. What should we do now? W where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. Well, she's about to be taken. Happy supposed to be so cold? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Well, that was a quick one. But you don't get the chance to make that jacket, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? It's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. Technically, yes, she will be. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You withered. Hmm. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Got the cabin. She says, I'm growing chorus of contradictions and massive ties. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Uh, you can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. No matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make things worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Um, no. What do you think of this vessel? 
This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Hmm. The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Mm. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. Okay. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. You're on a path in the woods. Take the blade. You take the blade. Go to the basement. Down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. Hmm. All right. Yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay ya. Wait. Uh. No. 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 -uh. Then drop the knife. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. There we drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk all right against your better judgment you step forward to speak with the princess face to face unarmed we'll be fine i don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here but i can assure you there's no reasoning with her <sighs> just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor you're going to need it so here we are what an awkward start to a relationship yeah, it's pretty awkward. Wait, a relationship? Are you coming on to me? Hmm. Do you know why I'm here to kill you? How long have you been down here? What's your name? What's people out there? Relationship. <laughs> Are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. <gasps> so, so you tell me there's a chance. I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Oh, uh, let's see here. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. What are you gonna do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. Hoping you tell me. 
Sooner or later, you'll understand that I have your best interests at heart. Hopefully sooner. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? We can figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. <laughs> Actually, I've changed my mind. I don't trust you. So I have a few more questions before I decide what to do. Fine. What do you want to know? What's your name? Don't say princess. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. How long have you been down here? Too long. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. How would you get out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? Oh, she is. She is. I'm sure of it. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. Eh, yeah, don't worry about it. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. Hopefully you took the knife. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Uh, no, we're sticking to the plan. I'm, I'm locking her down here. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. No, that's fine. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Let me all you want! All it does is ease my guilty conscience! 
So all that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. Ignore her and go to sleep. Just ignore her. Maybe the banging and wailing will stop if you just don't pay attention. If I ignore it, it'll go away. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence uh -oh. in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. Wait. The door opens inward. Why did you have the fucking table in front if the door opens inwards? <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Did you forget? You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. Give her the look. Give her the look. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer. One silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. No, not my organs! I need those! Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. What? This can't actually be Dead. how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. The Nightmare. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay her. Uh, okay, no. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life if he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best... Shh. What if he hears us? That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. I think you'll find yourselves very hard-pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said... This is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Mm. Okay. A warning. Before she will lie. I don't think lying and cheating is her thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least, she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust him. Anyone. Okay. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth the mirror. Of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. Who are all these people? A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Hmm. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that. 
You reached forward, and did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Alright, uh, take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. But she's a ghost! Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Very different. I'm not the only one who sees her in the window, right? She knows that we're here. Calm down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Enter the basement. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated yeah, steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mention the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static. I have slayed as if you're into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh. I guess I've completed three princesses. Lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. And yes, I guess I've slayed. But then she exploded into swords, so that was pretty cool. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I have ghost princess now. I didn't think you'd come back. We're going to have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. How hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. I got the damsel. I got sword princess. And I got... Multi-dimensional princess. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place, it'll be enough. Mm, continue down the staircase. Step off into the void. Oh, I'm gonna talk to her. Let's step into the void. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Smitten, yes. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? Well, actually, I, Smitten showed up when I was fighting with the sword princess, too. Because I gave her the look, and she actually reciprocated the look. I don't know, falling into the infinite void seemed better than going downstairs and dying. I'm just scared. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? <sighs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. It's definitely not weird. Excuse me. This is a normal I'm basement. Incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Huh, I see. I find, will find my translucent babe somewhere down here in this depth of darkness. For her glorious shining light of beauty will lead me through this. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. I want you to! I could stab you with my love. 
Uh, just go right. Right is right. Turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. What's up, babe? I told you I was going to find you. Mwah. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Yo, she cute. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. Blech! It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Lungs. Liver. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function or do you want... Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Nerves. <laughs> Just watching like, hey man, what's what's going on? Liver. Can't decide what you want to do, can you? Lungs. Liver. Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you Liver. look ridiculous. Nerves. She isn't attacking us. Lungs. Why? Liver. Because she just needs to stand there for me to die. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Liver. Uh. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. Yeah, exactly. You're taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Don't kiss me, then. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, shit. make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. You're back. Lungs, liver, nerves. Heart. One moment, lungs, and liver, then you're nerves, gone. Heart, just lungs, liver, like nerves, that. Heart, lungs, liver, ah, nerves, heart, and there's the fear. Liver, nerves, heart. She pulls lungs, away. Liver, nerves, but that wouldn't be very fun, lungs, now would liver, it? Nerves, I've already heart, done that. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. Lungs, what happened after you killed me last time? I tried to leave all you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. I don't think I can leave without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Heart, you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being nice to me? I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? Okay, touche. And you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I just can't let you leave. Last time, nerves, heart, destroy is such an unenlightened way of putting it. So sudden, so violent, so little nuance. Nerves, heart, 
I'm not going to destroy the world, but I am going to hold it in my hands and squeeze it. I'm going to make it afraid, just like I've made you afraid. The world needs fear, doesn't it? Every terror I bring would make the good times so much better. Well, I'm practically doing a public good. So what harm is there really in letting me out? You bring up a good point. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> How about I just kill you instead? Chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Don't worry. I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. Oh, I hope so. You will die if you do that to the what, what you've done to me. When everyone dies eventually, they're all full of wet, writhing things. And in the end, each and every one of them gets unwound. And then those things get to become a new everybody. Just to come apart all over again. All I want is to be there for it. I want to watch it happen. And maybe do a little unwinding myself. Is that really so much to ask? Being around you is agony. We both know that you don't have a say here, so you should just look on the bright side. I'm not sure what the bright side is for you, but I'm positive you can find it if you look hard enough. I'll just die then. And then we'll wind up right back where we started. Round and round we'll go. I wonder what will be different next time. Maybe you'll actually be able to move a limb. Who knows? I'll build up my tolerance to you and then I'll be able to smooch ya. Are you sure about that? Give it enough tries and I'm bound to win eventually and maybe you don't get to come back like I do. Is that a bet you're willing to take? Yep. Imagine climbing a mountain of lifetimes. And when you finally reach the summit, when you finally win, the only view you find is me. And it's such a great view, I can't take my eyes off of it. Whoa, 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 hang on. This is a safe for work stream. You can't say that. You're a lunatic. If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? You know what, you're right. I'm sorry. How about you just kill me, and what if I refuse to let you out? We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can even be friends. Mm, and what if I refuse to let you out? I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave, and I'm not going to try and kill you, so do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Alright. Are you serious? Whee! You fling the blade into the void, denying yourself the opportunity to ever slay her and finish your mission. Nobody's out here, but maybe it's for the best. You poor deluded thing. Do you think a single moment of bravery changes you into something you're not? I am what I am, and you're always going to be a coward. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't have the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Let me out. A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. 
It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Let me out! A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Here one moment. Gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Let me out! Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger. Rage. Distance. Poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. Let. Me. Out! No, 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 no. No, no. What's, what's happening to us? Let me out! No! This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? But he doesn't respond. Oops, I think I broke you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. Your body's dead, but you live on. Ah! My eyes! The moment of clarity. You're on a path in the... Shit! Shit! What? What the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? There was a princess, I think. It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? I... I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. We have to let her out. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. It's really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody else can- If you really her. think about it, we get to hold her hand. No. We were supposed to keep her trapped there forever, I think. We're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. We love her, so we have to set her free. Can we love something that hates us? Can we love something that hurts us? To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure. Narrator's just gonna be like, what the fuck? Love. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? Ah, uh, qu qu uh, <laughs> uh, that's a good question. How many times have you all been here? Many. Many, many, many times. It feels like we've been here forever. But it also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. Yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. Mm, but that doesn't make any sense. I only remember being here twice before this, and some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. Was I here those other times? Did someone else make the decisions? What does here even mean, if you really think about it? Shut up. You were here. Every single time. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop it, right where she's always belonged. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. You like my trees? Yeah, they're pretty cool, huh? I've tried to keep them numb, but they're all too soft. Hey, what's up, human? There he is! Uh, let's see. If I don't remember what I did, then I couldn't have been me that did it. 
don't think about that too hard. All it will do is weaken your resolve and make it that much harder for you to slay her. Maybe you're shattered in your own way. Are you your memories? Or are you the one perceiving the present moment? Ugh, here you go philosophizing again. It never goes anywhere. Yes, this is far from the first time you've asked us about consciousness. Who am I? What am I? What is I? Who even cares? They're good questions, great questions even, but they don't have any answers. And they all just end in quivering torment. It doesn't matter what we do, because we always find her, and if we don't find her, she always finds us. And then she smashes us into smaller pieces. If you all just stopped feeling, we could have been done with this ages ago. Your thoughts are far too scattered to rein back in. Your only option is to silence them. No, don't worry about that. Can you make sense of them? What if we don't go to the cabin? We've tried that. It doesn't work. Our hearts always brought us back to her. The deck is stacked. So many paths and they're all circles. This is part of the ghost princess. I did the damsel. I did the sword. And I did the multi-dimensional homunculus one. Of course we're wrong. She's the only thing that's right. Yes, obviously they're all wrong. What are you going to do about it? I need to figure out how to do the beast, because I think I've seen screenshots of the beast. I also gave the sword the look, and she, she loved it. The only way out is to do nothing, so nothing I will do. The sword was pretty sweet. <laughs> you do nothing. You can't just do nothing. You have to do something. Sword or blade or whatever, she she kind of... <laughs> That's a new one. Huh. Do you think it'll work? I did. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. This is my fourth one. No, nothing ever works. Boo! You're the worst one. Boo! He's not the one who got us in. Content. Boo! We need content. At least I keep you breathing around her. See, that's why the sad one's the worst. The jumpy one tries. Who cares? All of you just yap about nothing. And that kind of attitude is why you're in the top half. Great. And that's why you're not the top. I want to see what nothing does for us. And right now all of you aren't letting nothing happen. Hopefully this stuff's all the rest of them someplace. Yo, what's up, Divine? You need me. Whoa, there he is! by himself. Oh, all of us have gotten all the rest of us killed at one point or another. That's hardly even a concern now. As the little voices bicker amongst themselves, you do your best to stay still in the woods. It is difficult, and the more time you spend waiting, the harder it will be to sharpen your focus when you need it. I wonder what we look like right now. Are we standing? Sitting? I like to think we have an air of dignity. My point exactly. Continue to do nothing. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Ah. Mm. All right. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest. Bumping Woo! It's Quars! Please as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. How's that? <laughs> but eventually, you do make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find is an empty hill. No, no, this isn't right. There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. 
Don't ask him about the mirror. He always says he never sees it. He always lies. All right, fine. She's here. Super! You get double, and you get this. And you get my toes. And you get my buff. And you get victory. <laughs> and he always makes it gone. And you get a little bit of this. And then you get this. Okay. Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There is no mirror. You know that as well as I do. She's still here, buried deep inside the earth. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. It's why you always lose. And what's wrong with giving them space? What if it helps them? What if they need to be heard? They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. Exactly. They are delusions, and all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. Or you could just give up. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. The cabin that isn't there. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Smash it to pieces. She's on the other side. And we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. Just do something. It doesn't matter what. Proceed. Proceed? Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. That's another new one. How do you keep coming up with new things? I hope this works better than nothing did. Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you see? We're one step closer to her. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be, the only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. It's the only way forward. It's the only way forward. You've already tried everything else. Don't you remember? You have to take the blade. Take the blade or you have to take it. Well, I guess I have to take the blade. Tis true. You reach down to take the blade, but as you do, the ground beneath it shifts, the weapon sinking deep into the earth. Well, I guess I gotta jump down there. You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep. Deep in the bowels of the Oh, earth. there she is. What's up, honey? You see something staring back at you. It fills you Baby. with dread. Baby girl. Babe! Babe! I need you! What are you doing down there? It's her. Uh, she's watching us. She never stops watching us. Kiss me! You really are a coward. With every word she speaks, the princess in the pit blinks closer. I was joking when I said that way back when. You know that, right? Closer. I was having some fun. And I guess I wanted to see if I could knock you. And closer. Watching over me forever? That was so brave. And closer. But forever is so, so long. And time erodes everything. Except for me. I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. Oh, come on, babe. And it's not this way to take my will. And let me out. 
Hand holding. It'll be so much fun. You and me together exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there too. A witness. Oh, I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. Now don't pose. Don't try to resist. I've already molded you into what I need. And you lost your power so long ago. Don't bother working yourself into a frenzy to get it back. Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. You're just an object, a tool. <laughs> you once were something else a long time ago. But was that something you, or is it just a dull and jaded memory? There is no other ending here. Just take her hand and set her free. You extend your hand to hers. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. <sighs> and that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. I didn't think I'd be so tired. Uh-oh, say bye-bye. The princess, exhausted, slumps. Why is it so cold? You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? Doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Finally, we can smash it. Oh, you stop with the smashing. What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. Yeah. I think I'd like that. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. See you later, fellas. Never stop smashing. You step towards the mirror once more. Its secret remain hidden. Its mysteries remain unresolved. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. It feels... Okay. The fears... Oh, I'm done fighting. My heart feels... Quiet. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. I'm ready for the truth. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. Boys, it's been an honor. Last time I was melting. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? Is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? Do you want me to tell you? Rhetorical. I am not rhetorical. I have only known these spaces. And I have known flickers of the lives you've brought me. Short and violent and full of passion. But all of those flickers end where the long quiet begins. I'm asking you because I cannot know your mind. Do you know what we'll find out there? There's trees and stars and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. Do you think 
think that anything is real out there? Do you think we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is filled with sadness. A doll, abandoned to the company of her darkest impulses. She desires only companionship, but the only thing she knows is how to hurt. She will make for a tender heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found her way home. No, do not, do not, no, don't kiss her yet. If I did, I would already be awake. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have, any, do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Yes. He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you are on the cusp of yours. She's got three arms to hug you with. How many more vessels? One. Oh. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Okay. I'm ready. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark and you die. Is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, you're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh no, don't say that, human! Is it... Well, let me look it up. Um... I got it. I got it. No, no, no. You can stop. I got it. I know exactly which one you're looking. To. You make your way up the short path. You take. Good. You're still listening to reason. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat? She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You 
Poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Oh no. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if. Uh, let's see here. What's up, Lord? You're so close. Don't give up. You've come this far. I gave her the look. No, this is a good idea. Maybe we can de escalate things. Oh, threatened, are we? You poor thing. Drop the knife, and of course we can talk. Then I'm not talking to you. I guess we are. For the love of everything, just slay her already. Or drop the blade. Yeah, I'm sure. For goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, something is going to give, and I highly recommend that you be the one to take the initiative here. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Yo, she's ready! To, she's charging up! A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Holy shit, that hurts! Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. We can still turn this around. Flee and lock her in the basement. Give up, finish the job. Finish the job. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath. Equally exhausted. Oh, that was that was faded out because that was already a different ending I got. But you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here either. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> get over here so I can stab you. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. Got her! The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. The princess gasps, her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? No. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. <clears throat> Ta -da. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Mm -hmm. But I already slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it- You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder- That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. Yeah! That's the spirit. There's no- Time to win! Let's assume I'm telling the truth, then I'll get proceed. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Are you sure about that? 
The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Crystal. Let's get on with it. Let's get it on. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. All right, take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. What are you talking about? This is... You reach forward and rub your... But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone! So all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting! You bit into an onion? Delicious! The door to the basement creaks open. <laughs> We're going to find a cave troll! Its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. Wait a minute, I need to get properly dressed for this. Alright, I'm ready. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Let's warm it up. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. My princess. My princess. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see the death doesn't stick for either of us. And you brought your little knife, too. Yes. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. Step on me, mommy. I hope you heard all of that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than last time, but last time it definitely happened. What's that? Oh, that whole deja vu situation. Yes, it does seem like you and the princess remember each other, so let's say for a moment that I do believe you. For all we know, whatever happened to you last time was just a fluke, and beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember what happened last time. Uh, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Mm-hmm. You look different. You look exactly the same. I know, it sucks. So you do remember me. Oh, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. So, why don't we do it again? Sure, let's try to bump it up. Let's try to bump it up to four minutes, baby. See? She wants to fight us again. There's no reason for us to stand around talking. If you're lucky, it'll be two minutes. I'm actually here to free you. I'm say I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first, like how we're both still alive. What is there to unpack? I was dead, and now I'm not, and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. Alright, you know, you bring up a good point. Don't you get it? 
We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Okay, let's do it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Attack the princess. That's what she wants. Finally ready to complete your destined task, you launch off the whetstone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count all right. As you bridge the gap, your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. But she's unfazed. Oh, my beak! Sword. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you right back down to the basement floor. You can hear her chains snap as you struggle to recover from the impact. She almost looks disappointed in us. What, why is she disappointed in us? Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. Why would I? It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. Yes, mommy. Don't let her get in your head. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow. Think it through. And don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. The only way to win, the only way out of this, is through her. Bid an opening and outmaneuver her. Strike at her hard head on. Well, like she says. If that's your plan, then that's your plan. You push off the ground, ignoring the pain in your ribs as you charge at the princess once more. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum, your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. She grins at you from behind her guard. She liked it! Pull it out. We'll try a different angle. No, we can do this. Just keep pushing. We're not going to win if our weapon's stuck in her arm. PUSH THROUGH THE ARM! The princess's grin widens as the two of you push against each other, her fiery eyes and masochistic glee practically lighting up the dreary cave. Yes! You finally get it, don't you? YES! I do! <laughs> Nothing exists outside of us. It's just you and me. Dying and coming back, clashing against each other, forever. That's not what's going on. There's an entire world at stake here. Nah, dude, we're clashing. Yes, the fate of the world doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this fight. The only thing that matters is getting stronger. And the only way to get stronger is to win, even if it takes us forever to get there. Your balance is suddenly thrown off as the princess pulls you into her knee. It collides with your ribs, and you feel them splinter, cracking like wet wood from the impact. Oh, my ribs again! We're fine! But you barely have enough time to notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead against yours. <gasps> we almost kissed. Your grip loosens from the impact, the blade still wedged in her arm as you tumble to the cold stone floor. I said we're fine. I didn't say you weren't fine. I was just describing what happened. You might not have said as much, but you certainly implied it. It really doesn't matter. The princess glances down at the blade embedded in her arm, and with near total ignorance to pain, slides it out of its sinewy prison. You forgot this. Ah, oh, my tiny little dagger. <laughs> she tosses it at your feet. Also, what happened to the, uh, the chest wound I gave her? Are you jumping the gun a little here? We each died once. That doesn't mean we're immortal. Are you being metaphorical when you said that nothing exists outside of us? There's more to this world than that. Did you want to get free, though? Actually, I think I'm done fighting you. I don't think this is healthier for either of us. Pick up the blade and tiger again! 
Let's go! You and the princess attack each other once again, each of you dealing a single, terrible, lethal blow. Wait, does that mean we're... Dead. Or rather, about to be dead. As your blade pierces her sternum, the princess buries her fist into the soft meat of your organs. Oh, my soft meat. You feel a few horrifically painful pops, a gush of fluid, and... It's over. It's finally over. She popped my soft meat. No, it's not. We're just getting started. But it is over. Dead is dead. I know this isn't the happiest ending for you, but you saved the entire world from ruin. There are few better endings than that. I'll see you soon, narrator. Well, are you going to listen to him? Or are you going to listen to me? Get up. All right. I get up. Wait, no, that can't be right. Yeah, it is. Your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. Alive. Ha! I told you. I told you this wasn't over. What about her? The blade went right through her heart. Stubborn is based as fuck, I agree. What about her? If we're fine, then she's fine. No, she's dead. She has to be... No! Right. We're all shit out of luck, aren't we? I knew it. I told you we should all believe in her. This is perfect. The princess rises. Look at that face! Hand. She loves it! Slightly, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade still buried in her heart. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Let's go again. She pulls the weapon from her chest, barely wincing, and hurls it at your feet. You know what to do. Again! Let's go! She came back. What's the point of fighting her if she can just do that? Yeah, but we can do it too, motherfucker! All of you need to settle down. This whole situation is- Let's fucking go! Untethering. She clearly never actually died. You just missed her heart, that's all. Oh, we just missed her heart. Oh, of course, that's all. You were the one who said we hit her heart. You were the one who said it was finally over. Well, I guess I had it wrong. You guess you had it wrong? Aren't you supposed to know everything? I never said I knew everything. Close to untethering. What's that mean? Nothing. It, it means nothing. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, yeah? What do you mean? But you did say it. So it means something. Oh, stop bickering over nothing. Our destiny is right in front of us. Pick up the blade and go to her. Yes. Okay, fine. That is what I meant by untethering. Do you hear him rambling on about destiny? He's lost the thread. And if you lose the thread, you won't be able to save the world. Oh, well. And what is that supposed to mean? I don't have to answer that, and I'm not going to answer that. Why the bloody hell not? Because right now, there's still a razor-thin chance that you're able to get your act together. There are patterns of thought out there that beg to be finished, but once you finish them, that's it. They change everything. There's no going back, and if I say anything else, you're going to finish one of those thoughts. What? <laughs> what? The princess can't die. You mean like, the princess can't die, don't you? Well, it's too late for that. I think we've all thought that one. I'm not gonna say the princess can't die. I'm not even gonna think it. The princess can't die. Lie, the princess can't die. Hmm. I'm not gonna say the princess can't die. I'm not even gonna think it. But you did think it, didn't you? I tried, you know. I just got an achievement that says that which cannot die and it has the Arnold handshake as the uh, the icon. You know that you son of a bitch. That one. <laughs> I uh, I don't like that resignation. Are you sure we can't just unthink it? Yes. Like I said, I'm afraid some thoughts can't be unthought. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to pour myself a stiff drink. If I'm going to see the end of everything, I'd rather not be sober. So I was right! 
Why are all of you so glum? This is perfect, isn't it? We get to experience greatness and battle and triumph forever. Let's go! But I think it was the stubborn one who said, your destiny awaits, right? No, 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 no. No, hold on. There has to be another way. What if we just leave her down here? What if we run away? What if we convince her not to end the world? Shut up, hero. You can't reason with her. Ending the world is her fundamental nature. It's not a decision she can flip on and off. It is her. And what exactly can't we leave her down here? Because all it would do is stall the inevitable. And what's wrong with stalling? Oh, there's plenty wrong with stalling. The end is still the end and I'd rather face mine head on. Oh, you mopey ass. Why did you even ask us to slay her if it was going to end like this? Because it didn't have to end like this. If you don't mind, I'd rather not spend everyone's last moments arguing with you. Run through the stairs if you can. Run through the stairs. It's time. Yes, I suppose it is. If, if we fight her forever, then maybe she can't end the world. Maybe everything can still work out. Are you sure? I guess we'll just have to see how things play out. Don't you get it? You don't have to shuffle your feet. What comes next is going to last forever. Okay. Oh, join your adversary. That's all I got. With an unbreakable determination, you snatch the blade from the floor and stumble back to your feet. Both you and the princess quake with adrenaline as your eyes lock across the basement floor and share a knowing look. Mwah. Free from hesitation, you close the distance, both you and the princess aiming to end each other. Your blade digs into her neck, grinding against her vertebrae as her fist connects with your body. The impact forces the air from your lungs, stars dancing in front of your eyes as you fail to keep your bearing. You both collapse to the ground before either of you has a chance to survey the damage. And then we get up. Get up. Yes. And then you get up. That was a good one. More. You and the princess exchange dozens of devastating blows. Sometimes you manage to strike first, and sometimes she tears through you before you have a chance to act. <laughs> Damn, you defaced her. The other in the same oh my god, she is stepping on me! You think that's crazy? Look what's going on over, uh... What's going on over here? Look, it's an apple coming out of her chest! Yay, it's me! <laughs> funny feet, funny feet. And then you get up and do it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. We're all still here. This is all gonna be okay. Isn't it? Isn't it? But he doesn't answer the voice. He'll never answer. He's gone. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. Do you think this is... Oh, dang. What is this place? Did we do this? Huh. I didn't think we had it in us. But I guess that stuck-up control freak was right. It's the end of the world, isn't it? It's the end of everything. Far from it. We're still here. And she's still here too. The princess stumbles and her body slumps. I feel so... tired. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Let's see here. So I want to see... Oh, I see.
There's actually two of them she can evolve into. It could be the second one that I see because I think they're they're doing a, a remastered or whatever version of this game, like the pristine chapters. And I think the second thing that I see is probably part of that. It's called the Fury. And then Eye of the Needle, yeah. You approach the this, mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. I did. Final. I just wanted to see what human that I just wanted to see what human was talking about. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. I'm a bird. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Nevermore. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. So you're the narrator! I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. It's Realistic Bird! The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Hmm. I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? I mean, you just answered that. Uh, every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. I'm aware. If I were you, I'd be more precious about your time. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see here. Does it hurt when pieces of you break? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will you help? I'd like to stop asking. Part of me? Or are you something else? No, I'm not a part of you. But that's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? From one vantage point, I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well... All the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought and driven your every action. If that isn't being part of you, then what is? Let's see here. I met you many times. Have you been the same? You all along? I haven't, and that's by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon, and then it won't be able to work like that anymore. The people out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do to them? So you know, so you do know about the looping. So many of the times I met you, you denied it even being a possibility. Why did you lie to me? Obviously. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one. Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. What is my true identity? You're the long quiet, the god I made to rid the world of death. Mm 
What is the princess? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all of this hubris? If you made us, then I want you to know that this has been torture. Uh, let's see. I don't want to be a god. I want to be me. Mm, why couldn't you have told me all this from the start? If she's capable of becoming whatever people believe her to be, can't I just will her into something small? Yeah. As you are now, you won't be able to will her into anything. You don't work the way a living being does. Not anymore. And as you were before, you couldn't be trusted with the knowledge of what she is. No one could be trusted with that knowledge. Intrusive thoughts have a way of creeping in and ruining everything. It's why I had to die. Hmm. Looks like we only got three more questions. Who cares about dying? I'm pretty sure death is good. Why would you want to get rid of the world of death? What if the neither of us leave this place? Does this work? We just stay here together and leave the people out there alone? It wouldn't work. Her nature as the shifting mound makes it so nothing can last forever as it is now. It wouldn't matter how long the two of you waited. Eventually she would find a way to leave. And then everything would change. Everything would face oblivion. And until then, the clock ticks on. Hmm. <laughs> of all things, why why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? Why did you make her a princess? Yeah. Why did you make her a princess? I didn't make her a princess, but I wove the idea of her into something your scattered mind could fathom. You chose for that something to be a princess. Death of the author. I think you're out of time. I'm going to slay her. Let's see. Rest easy. I'm going to destroy her. Lie. Rest easy. I'm going to destroy her. Yeah. Are you lying? I can't tell. But I've said my piece. And my time's up. I'm just an echo. And every echo fades away. You know what you have to do. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. got a human centipede going on right here it's been so long and my heart has ached for this moment I've missed you dearly I've missed you too she unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response and then patiently waits for you to continue you know about the echo? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. 
Marriage, marriage, marriage. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Yeah. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not Dan, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? There's just so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end. Pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Oh, let's see here. Uh, oh, she's... that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. What are you talking about? The sensation of bleeding and sweating and breaking and mending and dying and living comes back in vivid color. I was just asking a question. You feel the shame of a hundred deaths and the pride of a hundred conquests. All of the peaks and valleys weaving themselves into a single tapestry, free of beginning and free of end. All right, I like this. This is good. Do you remember when we killed each other with such fervent passion? The death itself no longer sat on our shoulders. Yeah, that was pretty good. Address this vessel's statement directly. Appeal to your shared humanity. Reject her authority. Uh, yes. It was beautiful. It was meaningless. Neither of us could win. It was unnecessary. We could have worked together to build something better. We didn't have to hurt each other. It was beautiful. It was. Triumph does not exist without defeat. Birth does not exist without death. It is through conflict that we create beauty. There are few things more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing like me. And I am the only thing like you. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it on creation? Hmm. I'm like, I, I don't actually care which ending I get. They're both pretty... I, as far as I can tell, it's very interesting so I mean, whatever happens happens and I'm happy with it uh, 
you showed me your heart to break me. You showed me your heart to break me. It was terrible. Thank you for sharing yourself with me. I was blinded by emotion, we both know that. That feeling never left me! Stop the fight early. I won't leave with you, not until you see things from my perspective. Oh, I wanna keep going, I wanna see what- I wanna see more! the sword yes <laughs> yes you learned to put yourself away and in your stillness you rose above me you died countless steely deaths and you lived countless short lives and yet it is all so far behind you i pushed you to a greatness you never would have reached without me If you hadn't snatched that body away, we would have killed each other. We were self-destructive. It felt so good to finally win, even if it was going to cost me my life. Even if the journey was agony, the end gave the struggle meaning. As the clash between you uh, between you abates, you begin to shake your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it is. Uh slay the princess, slay the princess, slay the princess. Blah 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 blah. It's easy to believe in things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? dies and a new one is born and that one dies and a new one is born and you and I get to witness it all weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go okay I mean that doesn't seem bad Mm, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. Free myself. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation and you feel a sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here except for her is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. I love you. 
shake her hand. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. The grass is growing! I finally touched grass! <gasps> what are they trying to tell- what are they trying to say with this? You are free and she is with you. It's magnificent. Touched grass and a woman? Oh my god! There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality, something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into the thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you have always been, and just as you always will be. Though conflict is in your nature and the two of you will never be alone and the two of you will never know fear, you and she are finally home. I just want to thank Restream for fucking up with five minutes left of the game. A cat eating a hamburger. That's a great name. Thank you so much. It's an expression of regret. Here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by pressing H. Oh, that's okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna do any of that. Wait. These are the princesses I got? What, this one? The songs? Oh. Well, it's over now. Oh, no, I didn't save. That's Ah, automatic saves. Look at that. I got whatever this ending is. I touched grass and a woman ending. <laughs> let's go! Okay, let's see here. Achievements, achievements. Finish the game, the good ending doesn't count. Okay. Let's see here, what do we got? Let's see, a tower, prisoner, witch, wraith, specter, fury, free a prisoner. Prisoner's head, deconstructed damsel, the thorn. Um, hmm. 
Bring the Eye of the Needle to her. Slayer better. Bring the Nightmare to her. Bring the Wounded Wild. The Networked Wild. The Burned Gra There's so many princesses. What the hell? The Den. Apotheosis. The Beast. Razor's Heart. The Drowned Gray. What is the what are the, the tiniest? There are so many achievements, it's crazy. Uh let's see here. The scorpion. That shouldn't have worked. Just looking at the achievements. Cool. Well, I wanna thank you all for joining me. I wanna thank you all for sticking sticking around through that uh, OBS restream issue. And I hope to see you again another time. So take care, my friends. Stay well. And bye-bye for now.